Amen. Let's bless each other. I'll be peace in you. You're the missionary who saved the world. Let us see the work that God will do. So as it is the national day, there will be a lot of uh, journey and meetings will take place because you are light. Upon all our fear, all the darkness will crumble and all the life movement will arise. Let's say to each other, let us know the life, know, enjoy, and deliver the life. Really, through the National Day, through the meeting, as we, the title today, the life in His Son, the life in His Son. I hope you to really confirm this life, and through you, your house and household. Uh, may the work of uh, his, of the life in His Son may deliver to your in your field. As time goes by, why the world is getting more difficult? Uh, many people they invest a lot of things to success, but. Is that success really take place as we think? Then what is the reason people fall into disasters and curse? Not the world, but myself. We work very hard and we try to live correctly. Oh, why my life is keep on in the way that I don't actually wish? And uh, that answer is our title. Because you don't know the life in His Son, because you don't enjoy the life in His Son. It is very simple. Even though it is very simple, because we don't know the mystery, uh, the life that is inside of His Son, that is why people are suffering. In the Bible, it says that um, whoever has the Son has life, whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. What does that mean? Whoever has the Son, what, who is the Son? Whoever believes in Jesus Christ has life. So this is the most important essence uh, in our walk of faith. On, on the opposite side, those who don't have Jesus Christ, they don't have life. While living in this world, uh, God saved us. The salvation means God has given us the life. You just need to enjoy this life. Because you actually don't enjoy this life. That is why we are living in the difficulties. John chapter 10, verse 10. Why Jesus, uh, God given us Jesus Christ to give life and to let us really enjoy the life more abundantly. <coughs> uh, for our all our fear and all the meetings, I hope you to really listen to the Word of God. So through the week, uh, may the Word of God may be confirmed in throughout the week as the blessing. First, whoever uh, does not have the Son of God, and who, those who have Son, uh, what does that mean, who don't have Son? It, it says that he has no life. It means that they, we have lost hold of the essence of our walk of faith. So the essence is that God has created us in His own image. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, God created in His uh, image, God created man and woman. So this is the essence of our faith. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, God breathed the, no, uh, the life 
And he becomes the living creature. It is talking about the life of God is coming into us. So in the image of God, the life of God comes into the image of God. As written in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, we have no choice but to enjoy the blessing of the Garden of Eden. So this is our essence of faith. So this is the reason why God has given the life to us. And God gave us the life to save all the fields. And God has established us as the blessing of the Garden of Eden. And this is the essence of the faith. Whether you are in church or not, <coughs> unbelievers or believers, if they don't know essence, they cannot receive salvation. Uh, one word, if you don't have the life in His Son, you cannot receive salvation. Those who don't have the work of the life, which is Jesus Christ, what kind of people are they? Uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 6, those who are separated from God. Even though they come to church, they, don't have, they didn't receive salvation. In the church, not all people have received salvation. Jesus Christ said that lamb and goat are together and we are in the church. Even though you are coming to the church, actually, if you don't have the life of God, you are the one who separated from God. You can do the religious life. You cannot actually enjoy the blessing that is really inside of uh, the life because you are separated from God. How you live? You are living centered on yourself. Genesis chapter 3. And Genesis chapter 6, you are living centered on materialism. Genesis chapter 11, you are living centered on success because that is everything. Because there is no God. Eventually, you, material, and also success is everything. You have no choice but to live centered on those things. Eventually, at the background, who is there? And Satan is there at the background. That is why superstitions, uh, fortune tellers, you have no choice for, to, but to fall into idol worship. And before you go to hell, and in Revelation chapter 14, 10, there is hell. Before you go to hell, you live the life like you're in hell, and then you will go to hell. Why is it like that? Because you uh, people have lost the essence. It says the life in Jesus Christ. We just need to restore the life. People who don't know the work of the life, their state, there is one Bible scripture expressed um, their state, Ephesians 2, verse 12. Uh, foreigners to covenant of the promise without hope and without God in the world. He says the foreigners to the covenant of the promise without hope and without God in the world. You were separated from Christ. Those who don't have life, they are out of grace. Uh, that is why only the judgment is remained for them. But you and I, we are the people in grace of God. Do you believe? We are the people who have received the grace from God. And what is necessary is the grace of God. <coughs> So don't lie, but if you just go toward God as you yourself, according to the grace of God, you can live today. What is necessary is that it is from, uh, from um, what is necessary is the grace from God. Because we don't have 
anything else that we can make God happy. But only uh, if don't, God don't give us grace, no one can actually can be saved. <coughs> because God uh, wants to save us so uh, the meaning that we have accepted Jesus Christ is that we have the life in us that is why today's Bible scripture it says that whoever has son has life when we really know the essence Jesus Christ and accept him <coughs> in us we have life that work of life it cannot be given to other things only through when you accept Jesus Christ so John chapter 1 verse 12 yet to all who did receive him to those who believe in his name he gave the right to become children of God there is no other condition but only through the name of Jesus Christ we can receive salvation the life that is why Acts chapter 4 verse 12 is uh, salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. The life in Jesus Christ, if you lose hold of this blessing, actually you are uh, losing everything. Because God is in us, we are the people whom Jesus Christ is with together. We have become the person whom Jesus Christ is with, being together. John chapter 14, 6, And I will ask Father, and He will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. And we say this, Emmanuel. When you really accept Jesus Christ, there is no condition that is necessary. Only through Je the name Jesus Christ, we become the child of God. When we become children of God, there is nothing more necessary because Jesus Christ is sufficient to save us. No matter how valuable thing in this world, it is completely unnecessary for us to receive salvation. We, uh, we try to feel us because we feel like Jesus Christ is not sufficient, but Jesus Christ is sufficient, everything, and complete. I'm not saying that you don't uh, do put your... You, don't, you just need to remember that you don't have to add more to receive salvation without uh, more than Jesus Christ. If you have the heart that you have to add more to receive salvation, then you will... We are the people who have a, the life, eternal life already. So that is why in those who believe in Him, you are already in uh, whoever hears my word believes in Him who sent him eternal life and will not be judged but has crossed over from death to life. Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes in Him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. Yes, um, by Jesus Christ is being with us, um, eternal blessing is, has been given to us. Then Jesus Christ must become my master, not only being with us, but Jesus Christ my, must become my master. Those who accept Jesus Christ, actually their master has been changed. It will be changed. No, at the moment when we accept Jesus Christ, the master has been changed. Before we were children of devil, as it is written in John chapter 8, verse Father, you, your father, the devil. The, the life that is separated from God, no matter what kind of uh, state that you have, you have no choice but to be con con um, 
controlled by Satan. No matter how much you are success, you have knowledge, but as you are children of God, you are being ruled, you will be ruled by Satan while you are living. No matter how much you success, if that person has known life, he devote for the devil. Even though you success, even though you studied very hard, you work for uh, the world, actually you are devoting yourself for Satan. While Israelite people were in Israel, uh, Egypt, no matter how much they were success, uh, they are working for Pharaoh. But people don't know this. People think that they just need to success. They will study hard and go to higher position. With all the success, what they do is they are doing the work for the world. They are devoting themselves for Satan. At the moment when we accept Jesus Christ in their heart, the Master changes. Then Jesus Christ, who is our Master, will be responsible for our life. Even though our master has been changed, still when you do the role of ma master of yourself, uh, there is no choice but the limitation has to come to you. Why your life is so difficult? Because Jesus Christ is not your master. You cannot do but you try to do yourself by yourself. By your method, your uh, level, it is why you have no choice but to face the limitation. You, I hope you to live the life that the Master is Jesus Christ. I hope you to really become, um, live the life uh, that Jesus Christ is the Master, so that uh, regardless with our witnesses. The blessing of the throne will come upon and reveal in our life. Otherwise, the heavy laden of the world will press us. We cannot overcome the heavy laden that is given from the world. So early time. So I hope you to quickly entrust you. everything to Jesus Christ. Uh, those who are in Jesus, they are in grace. Uh, yeah, of course, we need to live correctly, but uh, we cannot live uh, more harder than Pharisees. But because they are not in grace, but they were completely crumble. I'm not saying that you to be lazy, but you need to live hard and diligently and correctly. But no matter how much you are being diligent, if you are out of Jesus Christ, you are the people, person who ha are, have no hope. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13, but now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. If you come into the grace, uh, God will uh, uh, be responsible for us and protect us. So, because of the grace of God, you are right now sitting here right now. If you don't have any grace from God, you cannot actually live your life. God is still giving us and waiting for us, and He is Jesus Christ. And God will give uh, the power in grace today also. Uh, before all our footsteps, God will go before us and protect us and keep guide us. And God will allow all the blessing that has been prepared for us, uh, those who are in the grace. I hope you to really confirm in every field of you. Second, so. We need to really enjoy the sense of our faith. In other words, we need to enjoy the gospel, not other things. We need to enjoy Jesus Christ. Being kind, that is not bad. 
but they cannot make us success. The true success is gospel enjoying Emmanuel is the true success. The true success is the accomplishing plan of God. Not achieving my plan. No matter how great people are, if they live regardless with the plan of God, that life is fa is failed life failure life. No matter how you live, I'm not saying you to live poor, but if you. Our life is matches with the plan of God and you are being used for the plan of God, that life is the true successful life. So we every day, we need to enjoy the blessing in life. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Treasure in jar of treasure which is Christ. Verse 8, We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair. Lord who has solved all our problems He is in us The life is in us No matter what kind of circumstance we face It doesn't become a problem to us Even though you are being surrounded You are not being sur surrounded You will not be discouraged You will not be perished No matter what kind of circumstance you face It doesn't become It does not become uh, a, a problem Because Christ is in us Who has solved everything Who has finished everything Because so uh, What kind of problem It doesn't actually matter to us So as much as we know know this fact, we don't get uh, tem tempted. Even though people ignore us, it doesn't matter. Because we can, we, our uh, status is the blessing that we can never be crumbled. All the things that is happening right now uh, gather together and achieve, uh, achieve uh, the good Romans chapter 8, 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him who have been called according to His purpose. We always say that being kind and correct to, uh, it doesn't matter that it works or not. Success or not, no. Those who have the gospel nothing actually matters. Why? God protects us. God gathered together and, <coughs> and God give the good conclusion. No, even though we fail, unbelievers, they finish in failures. But we, because treasure who is Christ is in us, so that is the new beginning. And that becomes success. As times goes by, problem becomes the blessing. If you are in the true gospel, all the problems will become springboard. You realize this. If you are in Christ, uh, God will give uh, the good uh, conclusion for you. Uh, past problem, present problem, all the future problem is, it has been solved. It is salvation. So those who accepted Jesus Christ, they have received salvation and set, being set free. And Jesus said that it is finished on the cross. Jesus said it is finished. Devil say it is not finished and deceive us continuously. Jesus said it is finished. And devil says that you need to do something. No. All problem has been finished. As time goes by, that problem is blessing actually. At that time, you don't know. When you face the problem, you didn't realize it. 
The problem is actually the work from God. So it gathered together and become good. Uh, it means that God is responsible for the results of your life. Everything gathered together and fulfills the good. It means that all the results, God will be responsible for that. So right now it works or not, you don't have to judge because God will conclude it. By looking at yourself right now, you don't have to be discouraged because Jesus Christ, who is treasure, is in us. God will uh, make the conclusion and God will be responsible for the conclusion of your life. eternal life we just need to be in here then everything eventually God will conclude it and with that fact you need to see yourself you need to see all our church members I hope you to open these eyes you just need to do one thing uh, right now still uh, finding the people prowling like around like a rolling lion looking for someone to devour you just need to do the spiritual battle already Christ is in you and being with you together and God will give the conclusion for you then in your life that has been given to you you don't have to be deceived by problem you and Satan you need to do the spiritual battle in Jacob chapter 4 verse 7 against devil then it will avoid you every time, every time, every second with the authority that has been given to us when we do the spiritual battle then the blessing of victory will be given to us because we don't do the spiritual battle first Adam when he uh, when devil attacked him he listened to devil uh, he separated from God and had failed and second Adam Jesus Christ living the, his life Jesus Christ tempted three things with Jesus uh, with the word that has been written in the Bible he win over Satan while we are living today to uh, cast out all the devils that is working at the background in the name of Jesus Christ uh, contain all the authority of heaven and earth and has been given the name of Jesus then we have to use that authority every time, every second in every moment, every happening we need to use the name of Jesus Christ Peter chapter, 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 The royal priesthood, that tremendous authority has been given to us. Luke chapter 10, verse 19, trembling over the uh, serpents and scorpions has given authority to overcome all these authorities. And Jesus Christ, who is the treasure, is right now in us. So with that name, you need to use the name of Jesus Christ. with the spiritual, spiritual battle with the uh, devil, with the name of Jesus Christ, when you have victory, and from that moment, all the doors of answer will be opened. In, your all, all of, in all the meetings you have, I hope you to first uh, 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 fight, uh, uh, make the darkness crumble. Don't do the physical fighting, but first do the spiritual battle. Even though this tremendous authority has been given to us, we need to really enjoy this authority, but we don't actually use and enjoy it because we are being deceived by Satan. At uh, this time, a d o l e s c e n t retreat has been given an important message to us. All the remnant who has been attended, they all have received an uh, important message Uh, they have received grace while receiving it is not just a message only to the adolescent but it is to everyone 
uh, we are being deceived. So first lecture is don't be deceived. Uh, we are deceiving by Satan, reality, and myself. When, when we, don't, we are not being deceived by Satan, the real spiritual state uh, that has no choice but to receive answer, that spiritual state will uh, be made. Before answer, uh, our spiritual state Uh, there is the thing that makes our spiritual, things, spiritual state crumble. That is, conflict problems that get together uh, makes us uh, powerless and make our spiritual state uh, crumble. If answer is prepared, uh, when our spiritual state is prepared, the answer will, be, will come. Why our spiritual state is crumbling? Because we don't use the authority that has been given and we are being deceived by Satan, reality, and myself, yourself. So what kind of thing happened to you? Proclaim to Satan, I am a child of God. Even though it is like that, Jesus is the Christ. And then Sat God is hearing the uh, proclamation. Satan is also uh, hearing that. And second lecture is, don't be deceived, but deceive it. In one word, it means that enjoy the things that belong to God. It may deceive Satan. While, because we don't know the blessing of the uh, spiritual things, we do all the things that make Satan happy. We don't have to, we should not make Satan happy. Romans chapter 16, verse 20, you need to make Satan kneel down before you. I hope you to not to deceive and deceive Satan. I hope you to really enjoy so that Satan kneel down before you. And the third lecture is challenge. First is don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. And you, one step more, be the one who deceives Satan. And challenge is what challenge to what? Oh, world is Nephilim 25. What we can really win over is, is the blessing of the throne. With the blessing of 25 challenges. No matter what kind of situation you are, Satan tried to make us fall into problems and conflicts, and we have no choice but to live powerlessly. Don't be deceived, but be the one who deceives Satan. With the blessing of 25 in all your feet, I hope you to really challenge. Conclusion. If there is the really the essence of faith is the life in Jesus Christ, I hope you to really know, enjoy, that is everything. Then everything will follow after you on the other side. If you don't know the life in Jesus Christ, you will have no choice but to face problems in everything. Uh, God contains life in Jesus Christ. As much as you know more about Jesus Christ, the truth will set you free. In every part of your life, you will feel freedom. I hope you to be go into deeper in the life of Jesus Christ. Gospel is everything. I hope you to be sufficient and satisfied only with gospel. Those who grab hold on to the name of Jesus Christ, all our result and conclusion, God will give your conclusion of your life. We who God never uh, refused and denied us who are uh, 
uh, holding on to the name of Jesus Christ. All the, uh, the uh, people who have scars and right now um, uh, the difficult situation, God knows it. God knows everything. And that God will give the conclusion and result of your life. It means to gather everything to make it good. I hope you to really enjoy this blessing in all, all, all your field and meetings. Amen.